Christmas. Merry Disc Golf Christmas. Welcome to Disc Golf TV for 1994. We have a few presents for you today on Disc Golf TV and we think you'll enjoy them. A little, some magic out of Santa's bag. You can see Disc Golf and hopefully you'll find a few things that you might like and enjoy and you'll come out and play the greatest game going. Disc Golf! Ho, 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 ho! And who brings you Disc Golf? Well, here in Indianapolis, Disc Golf is brought to you by the Indianapolis Disc Golf Club, 635-8357. And Indy Parks and Recreation, that's who. Who is that guy? Anyway, that's who IDGC and Indy Parks and Recreation brings you, the public, Disc Golf for free. It's free, it's a gift to you all year round, not just for Christmas, it's free golf. That's right, Santa wouldn't lie. What, you don't think I'm Santa? Hey, okay, so I'm his cousin Vinny from Philly, but times are tough, I needed another gig. Anyway, this golf is for you because it's free, it's fun, and it's good for the whole family. And we're gonna check out a few presents of old Santa and see what the elves have been up to and see what Santa's got up his sleeve for Disc Golf TV, December 1994. So let's sit back and enjoy this. The first thing old Santa's got up his sleeve tonight, well, remember when you were a kid, you had cartoons? What about Disc Golf cartoons? Hmm. Strong as he can be. Ah! Watch out for that tree. George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Ah! Watch out for that tree. When he gets in the street, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. I need the deep. Then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while fella and Ursula stay in step. golf cartoons boys and girls did old Santa set you straight on that one or what huh boy you know I haven't seen my elves around lately those little goomers man they're always up to something you know how elves are uh, let's see I'm gonna go see what these elves are up to let me go find these guys
Hi, Howie. How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you made it back from that one. Hey, if you're looking for some disc golf action, don't forget there are still leagues, Saturdays and Sundays, come out and play. But meanwhile, you wanted it, you got it. The remake. Oh yes, the remake of Wildling! in there um, anyway if you want to go out and practice your wild playing skills you can do it like I said it's winter time but so what you can play this golf it's free you can play year round in fact the ice bowl in January January 21st don't miss it come out no wimps no whiners meanwhile we're gonna take it Santa's got a little present for you coming up it's called the best of DGTV 1994, all those wacky shows, only the best parts, coming back for a Christmas special from who? Santa! This one, folks, don't blink or you'll miss it. Local pro Jerry Suter just about cans one right here. Beautiful shot, Jerry. Oh, so close. Just another basket. Now, John Brooks. Brooks has really been attacking every hole on this final nine. 
And this hole is no exception as Brooks launches it well out toward the middle of the water. And it's going to be close. And that shot speaks for itself, skipping off the pavement. Brooks acknowledging the cheers from the gallery. Now Mitch McClellan, who's also three strokes off Climo. Checking the wind there. Very slight, five miles an hour perhaps. And that disc is in trouble. That, that is not going to make it across the water. The early leader was Dr. Rick Vokes from Bowling Green, Kentucky. He was chased by Dan Ginley, Mike Randolph, Mike Sayer, and Ken Hamilton in the final nine. And you can see just how good some of those putts were. Absolutely amazing shots. We're talking 75. Real easy question. Do you know what disc golf is? Disc golf? Yes. What is it? Well, you, you set them up in a park, and uh, you have a little basket or chain thing you throw it in, you throw a, like a Frisbee in it. OK. You ever play it? No. on the hole before and stepped up to that 20-foot putt and just knew you were going to miss it. When you get up to that 20-footer, just take a deep breath, think about the last good putt you made, and let all your muscles relax. Wow. Excellent throw. Yeah. Billy Bob here again. I guess I got to try for a juice finally on this last hole here. Here we go. Good job. Nice. form with Carlton Howard one stroke behind. You see here Carlton doing the highlight of the month from about 150 feet out. Bangs a beautiful dude. Finally keep your temper to yourself on the golf course. Uh, no one wants to know if you're having a bad day. You can keep that to yourself. And I got a big old paper tour. <laughs> hey, uh, Oz, run the next piece. Huh? The next piece. Oh, 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 okay. Rolling. Good morning. Just thought you'd like to see the view from the my Taurus hotel room window. Us. Mike makes a run at it. No. And we had a shot. That was 
only a couple hundred dollar putt. What's the matter? Well, Dan, it's good that you could take it that well there. Now this hole, this is just incredible. These guys are 400 feet away and the tee shot just comes zooming in, scattering the gallery. An awesome shot. There's Frank Arroyo, 17, Somar, California. Look at this tee shot, folks. Nobody ever expected him to throw one that far. And it's frisbee. It's frisbee. And remember. This golf is a very environmentally friendly sport. Here's Arthur Haverskamp from the Netherlands. Arthur Haverskamp. No, you say it. Half a ton. What you half a ton? Half a ton. What you half a ton? Half a ton. What you half a ton? There you go. What he said. Okay, and what's your prediction? How are you going to finish today? Prediction. I'm going to beat him, that's for sure. Cash. <laughs> All right. Here. Looks like a gum putter. Oh White, nice and right. gumby and soft. 20 bucks. I'm there. Yeah, right here. Unknown mold. Stamp numbers in this whatsoever. No description. What is it? It's the mystery disc. Back of the of the Swedish disc golf team shirt says Ben Bomb at King Climo. It stands for who the hell is Kenny Climo? Oh. The back of the t-shirt that says it across the back. Oh. This action is making old Santa sleepy, you know, you kind of eat some holiday goodies and watch a little tune and I think I'm just going to take me a little nap. <laughs> Not every shot goes in the basket, some of them just miss. Those are wankers cool and seats. doinkers. Well, yeah, it's time really to show nice. you some of those. Looks the, like somebody uh, got on Albert's glasses. Wankers. Is that Dorothy Hamill or Mary Lou Retton? Ooh, number cruncher. My bartender. Well, try as we may, we Where can't always get colors? great footage of disc golf. Sometimes those wankers just slip in there and we take advantage of them. Oh, yeah, we do. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, off to the Ice Planet Hoff. Oh, that's neat. White disc, white background. Love well, that snow. Jeff Ron, the lightest putter.
Whoa, whoa, whoa! The disappearing man. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. And the last hole in the Hey, Mo! Hey, Mo! Make a bird. Throw it around the outside, play for three. Don't try to thread the needle. It cost me two strokes. Now I'm five or six back instead of two. A lesson learned. Thanks, I'll remember that. All right. Watch out for that tree. Oh! Jay <laughs> Sewer. Hey. Andy, Oracle Homie, how you doing? All right. What are you shooting? Second place right Second now. Second place? Well, I don't know for sure. I don't know what these other guys did. I think I'm there. Do you know now? Do you know now? 18 under. All right. Boy, he needs a haircut. Hey, man. Leader, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing wonderful. How do you think? It's a beautiful it's necklace. There's too part much part bleach in his laundry, I think. Like a forehead press. Forehead. I didn't know Gene Simmons was a golfer. Yeah, I did actually. I just got looking for terrain change. Yeah, I wish 3.5 millimeters equal to trees, natural obstacles. Oh, I've got one of those. That's a that's a Picasso. Very nice. A lot of roads nearby. Um, so the safety factor uh, is a high consideration. 1946, uh, the Bikini Atoll, other, just before the blast. Um, facilities in the parks where there may be a con. TV is a great way of teaching people how Look, to get Charlie, them, how to get themselves started and Edgar in disc golf. Look, so Henry's Henry, chewing gum for coming out to help me close the show, and we'll see you move. next week. What's that under his arm? Disc golf TV. <laughs> Question? Yeah. Do you know what disc golf is? No. Frisbee golf. He's clueless. No. Never heard of it. No. Okay, thanks. Okay. You know what year it is? <laughs> and that man, John Ahart, along with a host of others, including Jeff Wilson, yeah, Wesson, and I used Dial. Sontag, Thank God. And Look Nottler. at all these people are looking But in at the me. end, the hometown crowd really rooted on Scott. Spuds is a girl. Spuds is a girl. Kind Dr. Nazo. Kind Dr. Nazo. That is quite a landmark. I'm glad we were able to get this for DGTV. Thank you very much, Dr. Oh, that could be easy. Whoops. This one doesn't look too tough. Deactivate force field, Captain. About time. Nice putt. Hello, and welcome to Brookside Park. I'm Jerry Souter, sometimes host of Disc Golf Jerry TV. Suter. Today we have a special guest on our show, Mr. Dave Greenwell, the Masters World Champion from 1993. Dave, th thanks for coming on the show. Uh, Dave is in town What'd this weekend say? for the checkered flag. Um, he's going to be competing with uh, wearing, a lot of other professionals hey, for uh, cash Don't prizes in the professional disc golf Jerry, tournament big pants of too. the year for Indianapolis. Um, now, Dave. Kobe Lanham, Billy Bob Vigil, Juan Roman. That's what happens when you play too much of this gold. <laughs> is that what's going to happen to me? Scary. It is good, scary. So we Why is Billy Bob today? smiling so much? It's like a gargoyle. Hey, if I write you guys a check, is the check good? You don't have to answer that. Yeah. <laughs> <That's gross. laughs> All right, sports fans, how about that best of DGTV? Some fond memories from 1994 in the world of disc golf. A lot of fun there. Who brings you disc golf? Remember, it's the Indy Disc Golf Club and Indianapolis Department of Parks and Recreation. Indy Parks. Because it's all for you. It's free. It's a gift. 365 days a year. Kids, adults, families, it's great. All you need is a disc. It's free golf, free fun, disc golf. It's a present all year round that you can enjoy. We will be back next year. Look for us in January. You might see a few new things in January, maybe February, maybe all next year. You'll have to tune in and find out because old Santa and the elves and all the guys around the old disc golf TV Ranch are going to cook up some new surprises for you in 1995. So until then, we want you to stay safe and find out how to play disc golf. And if you want to find out how to play disc golf, you can call the Indy Disc Golf Club at 635-8357. And Old Sam says it's not too early to start planning those group outings for disc golf. So if you have a group, school, church, any kind of league, business, just a bunch of friends, you want to find out about disc golf, call up that number. And old Santa and the elves can put you in touch 
with all the disc golf action that's happening. So don't forget the Ice Bowl in January, the March Monster in March, leagues Saturdays and Sundays. It's all free disc golf action. Till then, Rudolph, my man, where you at? You guys, guys, hey, I'm out of here. We'll catch you next year, 1995. And until then, Santa says, keep this golfing. See ya. Funding for DGTV is provided by Play It Again Sports, 62nd and Keystone and East Washington Streets. Thank <laughs> you.